When it comes time to remove all your personal protective equipment, it is important that you continue to be mindful of the task you are about to undertake. Your PPE may have been contaminated with respiratory droplets and infectious airborne particles, and this is the most likely time when you could accidentally infect yourself. The key principles are have a consistent sequence so that this can become routine. Take your time, don't rush. Minimize contact with contaminated surfaces of your PPE. Always perform hand hygiene prior to removing any PPE from your face. The sequence for removing PPE is as follows. Remove gloves. Perform hand hygiene. Remove eyewear. Next, remove the gown. Perform hand hygiene. Remove mask. Then finally, perform hand hygiene. These steps will now be demonstrated in detail. Remove the first glove by holding the cuff and rolling it down. Twist your hand gently around as you roll it from your hand and into the palm of your gloved hand. Remove the second glove by placing your fingers under the glove and rolling it from your hand and over the first glove cradled in your palm, disposing of the two gloves together. You must now perform hand hygiene. At this time, the use of an alcohol-based hand hygiene product is often more convenient and accessible. However, hand washing with pH neutral soap and water is also an acceptable practice. When using alcohol-based hand rubs, remember to allow the product to dry completely. Using both hands, remove your protective eyewear by holding the arms of the frame only. Place them immediately in the collection container to avoid contamination of the environment and to facilitate cleaning and disinfection later. If you wear prescription eyewear, you will need to perform hand hygiene prior to removal. Once removed, place in a clean container. Your gown has a large surface area of potential contamination. Therefore, you must take care and remove it in a controlled manner. Starting at the top, undo the ties. If you're having difficulty doing this, seek assistance. Or, if the gown is disposable, carefully tear the ties. Once all ties are undone, take hold of the top inside surface of the gown. Leaning forward, start to remove the gown by pulling it out and away from you. As you remove it, fold it over so that the contaminated surface is on the inside. Continue doing this until the gown is a small folded parcel. Place the disposable gown immediately in the waste container. If using cloth gowns, place this immediately in the used linen receptacle. After removing your gown and before you remove your mask, it is essential that you perform hand hygiene as you will be bringing your hands up to your face. When removing your mask, remember these principles. Avoid touching the surface of the mask. Use the straps. Remove in a downward direction away from your face. Slip your fingers under the straps of your mask at the back of your head. Lift them clear of your hair and draw straps together. Lean forward and slowly lift the straps over your head, pulling the mask down and away from the face. Continue to hold the mask by the straps and drop into the waste container. An alternative method is to slip your fingers under the straps just in front of your ears, being careful not to touch the front of the mask. Slide fingers under and around to the back of your head, drawing the straps together. Lean forward and slowly lift the straps over your head, pulling the mask down and away from the face. Continue to hold the mask by the straps and drop into the waste container. Disposable masks cannot be safely reused as this poses the risk of direct contact with contaminated surfaces and possible infection. 
After removing your mask, you must once again perform hand hygiene. You may use an alcohol-based hand hygiene product or perform a routine hand wash. In practice, you can be under pressure, feel rushed or can be distracted. However, it is critical that you continue to take your time. Remove your PPE carefully and immediately place in either receptacles for reprocessing or waste containers for disposal. The removal principles and sequence protect not only yourself from contamination but also those around you and your immediate environment. This completes the presentation for the safe use of personal protective equipment in the event of an influenza pandemic. <laughs>